What's good, YouTube family? It's your girl Raven. And your boy Jalen. Today we are watching episode four of Sterniola Trip with Cut the Camera podcast. Childhood story time, injuries, and the day Matt went to the hospital. Ooh, let's hear about this story Listen, time. Listen, um, welcome to the channel. Uh, stop what you're doing, hit the subscribe button. Check out our social media links, they'll be in the description down below. And without further ado, let's just get right into it, huh? Get your Good morning, snacks campers. And Welcome back to the Cut the Camera podcast. I am Nicholas Sterniolo. Hello and good evening. I am Matthew Sterniolo. <laughs> Hi, guys. Um, it's Chris. I just realized I don't even have my headphones on. Neither do I. But so I got to put them on. Since you didn't have yours on, I was like, okay, I'm not going to put mine on. I've had mine on. I'm prepared. And I'm but ready anyways, to go. welcome back to this episode of the Cut the Camera podcast. Today, we're going to be talking about childhood story times. But the first little subcategory in that is we're going to be talking about injuries that we've experienced through our childhood. And Ooh, I think that it's only right to have Matt start this off because he's hurt himself many more times than me and Chris, as we'll get into right now. Yes. Okay, so... um. Hold on, I'm gonna get our little um, our little stay on shit on on track list. Sorry, I'm mixing up my words already. All right, the first injury that I got was a golf club to the head. Oh, I don't think I've ever told this story before on the internet. I might have like really. Yeah, I feel like I, this is the most major story to tell. I agree. So this is gonna be like a big chunk. Like we're gonna talk about it for mm. a minute. I think this one. I think I might have dabbled before, but this is the first time we're, like, getting into it. Into dabbled it. is such a weird word to use. It's also, injuries are so weird, dude. I agree. But, so, strange. so, well, I don't know. I agree with you because, like, my biggest fear, like, I want to preface this by saying, like, my biggest fear in the world is being, like, severely injured, like, yeah. physically. Like, I am so, so, so afraid of, like, bleeding and mm -hmm. ugh, just being exposed like trigger that. warning just, for all that this yeah episode. trigger warning for True. everything like it won't that even be episode. that bad though it's just yeah you know, simple. so when we were in fourth grade i had a teacher and on every single half day wednesday it was do your own homework like you got to like just pick an assignment and you just got to do whatever and then like you'd go into class it was class. kind of just like show and tell because like people would basically just pick, like what their favorite thing was and they were like oh this is what i'm gonna make my homework and mm -hmm. then just show everyone but honestly it was super dangerous no, yeah it, it, no, was, it was a terrible show idea. that like you were like passionate about stuff outside of school i think it was like i remember I when one of our friends did jumping over a tire and like almost hurt himself remember? Yeah, yeah i remember that i just remember like what like um so off topic, but like the f the fourth grade teacher, like that year of having that class, like we did like the do your own homework like so often that like by the I went into that school year like knowing my times tables and I left like forgetting them all. Like I genuinely like feel like I that was like the least I learned in any school year like my entire life. Was fourth grade, <laughs> I love fourth grade. Yeah, you had a anyway, different teacher. So it was do your own homework and i was sitting at home building legos in front of the couch and that was my homework so i was record was i recording myself i don't think i was no, recording you recording stuff you were making like it. pictures I, no, like, I yeah, think, yeah i had to make like this this structure and then take a picture of it and then like i would like go into school and i was going to talk about the structure that i made for my homework what is legos yeah so i was building <laughs> legos and our older brother justin who is a golf connoisseur, I'll say. Oh, gosh. Was practicing his putting in the living room with the, uh, with a golf club, obviously, because that's what you'd use. And he he put the golf ball into a cup, and the cup was right near where I was. So he gets it into the cup, and then he flips the cup in the air, and then he goes to hit the, cu hit the cup with the golf club. And I don't know if he hit the cup. I don't know what happened. I think he hit the cup, but he also hit the side of your head at a yeah. rapid rate. Ooh. Yeah. So, so like both things happened at the exact same time. Yeah. So mm. I got a golf club to the side of my head right here for all those visually watching. So I got hit right visually here. Visually watching as opposed to visually listening or I what? guess so. I don't know. But I got hit in the side of the head right Jeez. here with the golf club. Mm. Went to the hospital. And that was like we need we need to talk about that for a split second. I wonder what the odds are of people getting hit by golf clubs. Like how many people do Dude, how many golf genuinely club terrifying? Relate? Like I just remember Matt's like shriek of fear was crazy. Well, yeah, I was bleeding profusely out of yeah. your head. <laughs> out of the like, side it was of my genuinely head. like terror. Like I had never experienced before. It was so scary. I remember I was like just a room over and Matt was like screaming like bloody murder. Like it was terrifying. Mm. And I was right next to him. I was in the fucking oh. 
Jeez. God, mm. don't even tell me that. Like, I was, bro. I really, <laughs> like, I don't want to get talking in, about this on my. I don't want to get like, into details because it is nasty, but like, I could. No, no, nah, we don't. I, no, like, don't I can't to. talk about it because my feet are like in. Yeah, no, like, yeah, like my feet like... are out. So like, <laughs> like, I feel way less secure. So I'm like, my feet hurt. Yeah, but, yeah. I got hit in the head with the golf club, and my mom was at a school meeting because she works like at the schools with our in, at the schools in our city. So she was like wherever i was out and about yeah she was out at some meeting um me nick and chris didn't have phones yet and so weird bro not having a phone i know and my we only had the two cars because i don't think justin had his license at the time either either way we got to the hospital so yeah my dad drew he drove he drove me to the hospital in in the car with two towels wrapped around my head and i was in his lap while he was driving oh my god to the hospital um, I don't think there was like parking right there, so he kind of d- dropped me off with I think Justin and one of you no, guys. No, he definitely went in with you, like for sure. Like abandoned okay. the car no, or something. I remember like running into the hospital no, I like by we myself. In. I didn't. No, 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 no. No, he no, like no. carried me in, yeah, but no. then he like put me down on the ground. God, I have to like hold my head to like keep it stable because it hurt. He carried me into the hospital. He put me down on the ground, and then I like ran over to the lady, and then. I remember the lady was in my dad. We started getting into a screaming match because it was mm. very quite clear that I was like bleeding out of your head, very immense danger. And she was like trying to put the hospital bracelet on my hands first. Asking she was like for asking insurance, way. trying to get me on a scale. And my dad was like, "You need to cut the well, fucking scale's shit." Scale important, honestly. Scale was important to see how much blood I lost. Don't even say oh. that. <laughs> Don't even say that. Yeah. Scale's important. Yeah. But yeah, so I went on. The- <laughs> so I was on the scale. <laughs> <laughs> weighed me whatever and then i got put onto a bed brought into a room <laughs> okay, like you need to keep going but i'm disgusted but brought into a room and then i then fixed up yeah so i remember i didn't have blue, shit the on blue like fucking... i was like i was in my undies and i didn't even have feet like shoes on socks I on have... i didn't have feet <laughs> he was in his undies. Like, feet. like i was barefoot i fucking... just had shorts on i'm pretty, I'm pretty sure. sure i was just in underwear when i got in the car <laughs> yeah, I Damn. Like, like, like i was I... sitting in the emergency room like literally just in underwear at yeah no i like, remember hours. i was like i was in i was never the type to walk around like just underwear so i had like my long pajamas on my shirt i definitely didn't but, put yeah, shoes so on so then i got my they they told my dad that i'm pretty sure he told my dad that there was like a one percent chance i live it was like what not one it was like (laughs) (laughs) like, you're not that much of a miracle no he he, he, they basically said um it's either it's it's either he since it was (laughs) <laughs> Since it was two centimeters away from my temple, it was either it was like ninety percent like he's dead or he's gonna be eating out of a tube for the rest of his life. Jeez. Oh my god. Mm. The odds the odds of me literally doing this still are kind of No, like, like genuinely, like odds. I remember like mom and dad were keeping it so together when they were like talking to us. But like genuinely that was the closest to death like, any of us have ever been. No, like for real near death experience. No, like mm. like so beyond for real. Yeah. So like so seriously. So scary. Almost, to so think almost about. got if if it was two, they said that if it was two centimeters closer to my temple, I'd literally be dead. So or paralyzed or eating. Wow. A Holy shit. We're glad you're here, Matt. Yeah. We're glad you're here. Not that. Oh my gosh. It's a lot. Literally two centimeters away is like so. Centimeters literally. Like this. Like the like. Just think, if he was. He was literally. He literally hit that thing with so much power. He almost killed Matt. Almost killed. Out of a tube for the rest of my life. Yeah, those are the odds. Oh my god. But I'm good. Well, I'm happier. Yeah, and then I got alive. Me too. I got happier. I got sixteen stitches. Oh. And. This is like way past the. I told Nick and Chris this like, I think two years ago. But after the whole like hospital thing and all that stuff and what was going on, um, I had like a dream like four to five years. No, this shit genuinely like horrifying. Not horrifying, but it's like wow, supernatural. Yeah. Or like, yeah. So, Mm -hmm. like four to five years later, I. I didn't know the full story with shit that was going on, like, 
with who was where, what was going on. Well, yeah, because obviously, because obviously I was on the operating table with a fucking like towel over my head and shit going on. So I didn't know what was going on. And then I had this dream like four and a half years later. And it was like, you know how the home goods commercial is the best way to put it. I love talking like, about this home goods commercial. So it's like, it's like the house is cut in half. And it's like you you're looking at the outside of the house or whatever. So it's like imagine like you're looking Dude, best example is the Taylor Swift albums, bro. She got like a she I see like on my for you page because she's everywhere. She has like this like house or whatever, and it's like each of like the rooms in her house is like an album. It's just like the home goods commercial. Okay. But basically it's like if you took a house and you split it completely down the middle imagine, and then took okay. the Oh, like think of the diagrams of like how do you explain the house is up here, basement's down here, underground is here, like a bunker. Like just seeing the inside layers. of the house, lay, layers and layouts of like the house. Or a Barbie doll set. Like you open the house up and now it's in half. Mm -hmm. Like imagine that in picture. That's what they're trying to basically okay. paint the picture as. Half the house you, put a drone. you could see in from the front. Imagine you put a oh, drone okay, okay. on top of this, this hospital that I was getting operated on. Put the drone about 50 feet to 75 feet in the air. Took the roof off of the entire hospital, and you could just look in at what's going on in the hospital and the entire layout from like seventy five feet above. Yeah, that's mm. the that's like the point of view from the dream that I had, and I woke up from this dream and I told Nick and Chris Is like this like years later or during your years later like like four years later. Oh my god, that's terrible. So it's yeah, like, like come on, so I like, thought we were in the past. No, yeah, that because that happened in fourth grade. I think I was in like no, it was honestly way later. It was like freshman year of high school like oh, five years yeah ten. Like, oh the dream ten. ten. Oh, oh i forgot that? seven and eighth grade. oh wow yeah yeah so way later so i have this i had this dream and i was like chris was walking down this hallway with whoever's shoes it's kind of like foggy to me now i remember i said shit clearly no but, but it was, was just like, so funky because every single thing that matt told me and chris about like this dream that he had about that day me and chris recall happening like he was talking yeah. about how like and we like, didn't matt have shoes on and he was talking about how like we didn't have phones so we were like watching tv and mm. like reading magazines in the waiting room and like what my older brother was doing that he doing. shouldn't have remembered that i wasn't yeah. mm. part of it. not a part of it. he remembered my mom finally getting in the hospital my mom's friend who she was with like finally getting in the hospital like when yeah. they got there like genuine just notes of like so much about like time and i know a lot of you are like oh. well he probably found out like the next day he's not was literally, like, in the hospital like, out for like 24 no hours. this was this is the worst part about it too and nick you're gonna cringe again no like but i genuinely since i lost so much blood and i like was in that surgery for so long they said like once i was like fine and like all stitched up and everything they were like okay he's fine like he'll be okay but in order for like him to literally like not go into like I I freak, I don't want to like say the wrong thing. They things. just wanted to keep you. They awake. wanted they wanted make to make sure, sure I was okay. awake because like if I fell asleep or some shit, they could have died. Who's more susceptible to like any sort like, of danger? Like comas, dying, so any yeah, anything any like crazy. that could have okay. made the situation ten times worse would have happened if Matt fell asleep. Basically. So I I basically like after all that shit happened, it happened at night That's too. Rough. So like okay. when I was getting operated on, I was supposed to already be going to sleep. So I, I stayed asleep that whole entire night, the whole, yeah, I stayed awake that whole night, that whole next day, and the whole night after that. Oh my and gosh. Then I went to bed, like, and then I went home and then like took a nap that, that other day. Mm -hmm. But I genuinely was like fully like so out of it because I was awake just like looking into, like looking it's at the wall like this. It's crazy what you think this, of in like, fourth not... grade because I genuinely remember like being so mad that you didn't go to school. No, I know. Like, I went to school, and I was like, well, fuck him. Well, like, I, remember not... finally, <laughs> I remember finally getting home and, like, all the letters from classmates oh, yeah, my and classmates shit. found out what happened, like, and they were also Matt's classmates because me and him were in the same fourth grade class. Mm -hmm. And I'm pretty sure, like, we literally spent, like, a good hour in fourth grade. Like, everyone, So you're like, welcome. I everyone in fourth fucking... grade, it was like, or in my class, was, like, making Matt, like, cards about. That yeah. shit's so cute, bro. I know. It is so I cute. It's cool. Like, I remember in fourth grade, like, during any holiday when, like, Target yeah. had, like, the $1 section of, like, the erasers, like, the coloring pages. Mm. Like, I used to, like, bring gifts to school, like, all the time. Bro, like, I just, I just love giving like, to people. I just, like, the middle school era, like, Valentine's Day when you give all your classmates, like, the little, like. The goodie candy. bags. But then I had another like, one of those. so I had another around. one of those hospital dreams more recently that I told Chris about, like, mm. fucking, like, a month ago. Yeah. But, like, it's just weird because it's, like, I feel like I have them, like, every once in a while. That but, was, like, like, an album, bro. Hospital dreams. <laughs> okay. Okay. But no, going back to fourth grade, like giving shit out. Like I remember, and it was like Valentine's yeah. Day, and I had like 
you give out valentines like in your class and there was like four people that i was like way closer friends with than like anyone else so i got everyone like basic valentines whatever and then i got like four kids like something bigger and I remember my teacher literally sent me like the principals off. Or not the principals off, like, oh my god, wouldn't let me give them wouldn't in let class me give them to my why? pickings in class because I was like picking favorites. Mm. And I remember you also couldn't like give out birthday. Like honestly, it makes sense, but you couldn't give out like birthday party invitations during class if you weren't gonna invite mm. the whole class. Or that gum. makes sense. And that just puts so much like that's like so crazy. Like imagine how much money it costs to like throw a fourth grader a birthday party if like they have a class of 28 and like the school Crazy. forces you to get some cupcakes like, yeah, call it yeah so, like in order to invite them during school you need to invite every single you one of your classmates remember, like all of our birthday parties yes like, Ow. do you think you could go down the line and like list them all not no. all of them but not, like, literally actually not <laughs> even close no, like, we went to we went to jump on in the trampoline park i think like three years ago i remember row. like jump on in i remember like chuck e cheese mm -hmm. i remember chuck e cheese i remember like the painting thing what? Oh, oh plaster fun time? Yeah, did we ever have a birthday? I don't think that was our birthday. Oh. That was lit, though. That shit was so you, like, lit. You, like, the ceramics. I, like, did we ever like... do, like, a laser tag? I feel like we did. No, I, oh, no, no, yeah, no, no. we definitely did a laser. No, we didn't. No, I think we went to Chloe multiple. Had a, Chloe had a laser no, tag. No, I think we went to, like, five laser crazy birthday parties. No, I think parties. Probably. there was, like, a time period, like, where everyone in like the hip thing was to have just a... loved laser tag so yeah. yes birthday that year. i remember the that thing was to like have a birthday party well, i remember at laser one of my friends had a cat, laser tag yeah. the arcade remember yeah, yeah. yeah. no yeah. like for pre-k yeah yeah i remember yeah i the remember when i closed down <gasps> I also not our birthday party but i know what you're talking oh, about that oh, was someone else i remember ours. one of our friends yeah, had a birthday us. party at like the I laser like tag place that was birthday party dude monster mini golf like let's Bro, be so for real dude. monster mini golf was crazy <gasps> I, was so I love crazy. monster I mini golf so devastated because one of our friends had a laser tag birthday party that we wanted to go to and the laser tag place is 40 minutes away but it was the middle of winter and our minivan got stuck like with <gasps> ice on the oh, tires. And shit. No. Oh my so god. For us three and our mom were dead ass just digging ice at the tires trying to get at this laser tag birthday party for like three hours. And, and they, they didn't get there. They no. did laser tag. And they're like, well, you can still have cake. I'm like, fuck cake. Like, yeah. I was, here, I was I want so the laser upset. Tag. God, that shit's a nightmare. Okay, what's the Pool next? parties were lit too. Mm. Huh? Pool parties? Dude. Pool parties were insane. classic bro. pool party like in, in Massachusetts. I didn't go to a lot of them. Can't go wrong. Finally warm. All the pizza. Capri Sun. Dude, I'm, dude, I'm telling like you. That taste or I should say, I wasn't invited to a lot of them. I don't recall I ever really was, to be honest. Yeah. I didn't go to birthday parties like that. Me, I, like I said, I wasn't invited to them. Um, especially in high school, all I saw was just like the the parties on the stories and just the the feed and all that. So Capri Sorry, I'm not tired. Like a bite late. of pizza with like, chlorine oh my on God. your no, fingers. Yeah. 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 You still got like the fucking hands. the huggy barrels. <gasps> the hug barrels. I love the hug oh, barrels. Those are so good. What's like a what's your, like those shits are actually fucking nasty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they're yeah. so yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah. The hug yeah. barrels are actually See, disgusting. See, you, you got to drink them to feel childhood. No, some things. The ice pop. You think of like youth summer with the little straw. Give me like like a little like summary of like the best. Not a little straw, but like I would drink it with either a little straw, like the thin ones, or I would just poke a, a little hole in it. No, nah, I just ripped the whole top off. And then I remember the juices that you pull the tops off, like the little plastic top, and then you're able to drink it. You're talking about the wax candies? No, it wasn't a wax candy. It's an actual about? bottle, and it was a little plastic seal on there, on top of the actual drinking part. It was a little small hole that you would drink out of. You pull this and rip it off, and you drink it. I think it was a Kool Aid thing. I'm not sure. You gotta show me the, a picture of it later on. I know. I know. It's youth summer day. Okay. You can have... I remember. Can I? Oh, is abs it cool? Matt. Okay. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm thinking freeze pops is what we call them. I know other people call them otter, otter pops, pops, like the whole loser. thing. Whatever you gotta say, <laughs> sure. But we call them freeze pops. I feel like it's an it, otter. It totally depends. Dude, the people brand call you those get. like the craziest shit. They're like tubi lubies, frozen <laughs> tubi lubes, and I'm like, no, okay, it, like you're insane. It just like, depends the brand you get, and like your first, your fir the first brand you buy and recognize. That's what you're going to call That's them. That's not true because I call them freeze pops and the ones we buy is like freezer ice or like freezer flavor ice. Or I feel like it's like flavor like, ice. I feel like the one most likely to make fun of is an otter pop, but it honestly is purely just straight I love accuracy. It. I love, but I like, the, I don't know. I don't know. I've seen people like call them legit like game. frozen tubi doobies. And I'm like, okay, like that's that <laughs> really I've never heard that. No, I've never. If you one of those, I think it would like eat it like It'd break that. the internet. Like it would hold like that. Oh, it'd hold it like you do. <laughs> yeah, you know, like when you pinch it to the top. Exactly. Okay, but for 
like summer day, I think of you just ate either Dude, there's a like, sausage. Uh, sorry, there's so many like little flies. Like, do we need to clean? Do you have lice? Bro. Dude, I asked Chris yesterday. Oh, wait, stop. Like, don't. Ask me yesterday, oh, you got me, me scratching. Like, little, like, fleas. Like, small, like, little, little black window, bugs. Windowsill. I think it's like a California thing. Like we'll seasonal, ask, right? Yeah, I think it's like since now it's getting warmer, there's we'll like have little to ask like, the natives. There's like little fleas on our windowsills. Oh. Yeah, we've never experienced. No, like they're only in my own. room and Chris's room, and mine's on the top floor. Chris is on the bottom, and they're like, can by I be the honest window. about something? They're in your room. I've seen a couple in my bathroom. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Unless we're like living in Phil. No, no, no. 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 We're we take clean. care of we're clean, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. I just think it's like no, because since I'm happy. No, when I told Chris about it and he said that they were also in his room, I was ecstatic because I was <laughs> embarrassed because I was gonna literally have him check me for lice. I knew it wasn't <laughs> lice though. But like, I shower. Every I don't even day. think you could see lice. Like if you shook them out of your head, like I think they're mm, so microscopic right? that I don't even. I, unless it's like uh, baby, I don't know let's, extra. Okay, large. I'm, I'm just happy finish, I don't have lice. Well, right. What's it called? The what? little like I think it's definitely like the heat in the summer. It's I agree. Like, uh, every window sill like near. We just the... gotta figure out how to get rid of them. All right, I'm gonna little bug spray. I'm gonna no, say it's not like a bug spray. It's like you need like a trap. Like raid. Hey y'all. No, it's not like a raid. You need like a trap because we don't know where like the source is. Okay. Mm. okay. I'm gonna say my summertime. Let's hear it. Okay. Uh, I'm thinking you just had either a sausage, a hot dog, or a cheeseburger oh from the my grill. God. I don't like sausages. I didn't even ask. I'm just no, no. I, I <laughs> okay. Options here. All right. Yeah, he did so give numerous you options. You have you get one of those. You just ate them. Now you just went and got your favorite color freeze pop, and now you're sitting. On the Orange. really hot tar, mm. just enjoying the heat, eating Dude, a freeze pop. Nothing's That's better what than I the got. tar isn't like too hot, but it's also like warm. And like mm-hmm. you get out of the pool and like your shorts are cold because you have like the bathing suit like yep. still touching you. So you go and like sit on the tar. Hot tar. Yep. Oh my god! All right, that's what that's <laughs> my like instant thoughts is like. You know, the best summer days to me is when they come to an end, actually. When it gets a little bit darker at night. Mm-hmm. Like when that could be like the start of a book. Yeah. Like, like, mm. like I'm genuinely hooked. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's like, wow. like, I want to hear a story for Go sure. Ahead. I want more. It's like if you experience a nice warm summer day, you know, everyone could say pool. Everyone could say like cookout. Everyone could say freeze pops. All the jazz you already know. But what gets me is when the sun goes down and it, it gets a lot colder, like the wind's blowing. Yeah. Everyone has their Ooh. hoodies on, but they still got shorts on. I yeah. know yeah, what you're so talking about. Yeah. And like so you're much. burnt from like the day. Yeah, and then you can even go back with all the friends. And it's like, Stop. it's still warm, you know, it's summer, but there's like a but nice like breeze. But like we're campfiring now. Yeah, it's like yes. campfire s'mores. Love or, this, mm, love or, this. Or, or, or it's even... Can I say, I think the summer, like me and like, the seasons, like the four seasons, like summer, fall, winter spring have had like some beef like we've had trials and trips <laughs> like, we've had arguments, we've beef had, with like, the, s- the seasons downs, like which one's my favorites mm-hmm. we've disagreed i think east Coast but i summer genuinely, is, like, genuinely believe that like summer best. is my favorite season i used to want to be like that quirky kid and be like oh i, I like love like the winter because i like snow but it's like i fucking can't stand it actually i can't, mm-hmm. I can't. I can't. Like, listen i hate driving in the snow i hate anytime i'm at work and it's snowing or if it's ice on the ground, that's literally the worst feeling in the world. It's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> they didn't care about us, so now we got to try to get home safely. Like, oh, my God. Uh, I like... Oh, sorry. I didn't... No, you're good. I like when the snow falls down initially, right? Mm-hmm. After the first day or two, I'm over it. I don't want it anymore. Yeah. Um, Perfect time for me, summer going into fall. Like what Chris is talking about, where you could find... You could wear... You don't have to wear sweats. But you could be comfortable wearing shorts. Right. And I always love wearing hoodies. Right. I just can't right now because it's freaking hot in our room. But I love wearing hoodies and the wind is blowing. I, I know exactly what he's saying. You get yourself like some ice cream at night. Yeah. Start a campfire. You know, do your thing. Sit outside. Watch the moon. Oh, my God. I wish we had more, more space to do all this. Just to. It's a fact. You know what I'm like, saying? I enjoy the concept of like. Like, I love Christmas time. I like mm. holiday cheer. I like building a snowman, you know? But it becomes too fucking much when you're <laughs> in your house and you can't escape the cold. And, like, your feet are, just like, on the ground Hate freezing it. cold. You feel like you Ooh. can only stay in bed. Like, yeah. seasonal depression is so real. Like, every single time, like, after the fall gets, like, into that colds of winter... I genuinely feel like never speaking to anybody and I not <laughs> for like legit until the weather's better. And I, dude, the summer is honestly just like like summer nights. East Coast summer nights will be top legendary. Superior. Bro, but I also like not to keep talking about it, but like I don't know if like it's because of climate change and climate change is so for real. But like genuinely, like I feel like I never know what to expect. 
Like every oh, single year, I feel like it takes longer to get to like the next season. I Does do that make sense? That. Like a little I'm, bit. I'm yeah. like, like waiting for summer to be. Yeah, it's like I'm like, right hello. I feel like, like it's dude, time. Yeah. Yeah. Hot, but the summer's going by fast. Wear shorts for like a month. And Legit. I'm like, and I'm like, okay, like what's actually today? May. Like I feel like by now we're like pushing like. It better. should be like. Wait, more. what? That's why they said they filmed this out of order. This stuff's uh, no. already done. Wow. It's crazy. May. Damn. Wow, damn. So I wonder how many, like. They're. We're ahead. We're they're behind. behind. We're we behind. are behind. We are they're behind. Are wow, they got a lot of stuff. So I wonder when it's going to get, like, to. It may not ever get to the. They might have, like, stuff. different seasons of their podcasts. Well, obviously, different. Like, you know, like, this is their first part. Of their podcast, and then they're gonna do another segment of their podcast. Uh, so this is just like season one. Possibly, we'll see. But right. also, like the the it's we're also out of like I don't know if it's also because of climate change, but we're also out of like gradual changes. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like there's no like oh like two week period between, and then it's like summer. It's like legit like oh it just happens happen, it'll be 90 yes oh like my god summer. yeah that's okay, now winter. that's literally what happened like, going right, into summer to prepare for the next year. Like the second, don't I know what that meant. It's like the second he thought he was in winter, we were going to another season. It's uh, like, Matt, like it's, it's like when so you turn like twenty or something, and everyone asks how old you are, and you're like, oh, nineteen, nineteen, and then the second you get used to saying twenty, you turn twenty-one. Like that's what Matt's saying. Yeah, no, but genuinely, like we Chris, need to, I love your, your little summer, shit. your little summer. No one thing, should throw your really trash that. outside. Climate change is real, dude. You can't just stop it. I also think that I think. Ha- hold on, for real, actually, <laughs> I think we should seriously bring back metal straws. Okay. I feel like well, they never hear, left. Me the, hear me out. When did I'd they ever leave? I'd rather use a plastic straw than uh. a paper straw. And I know paper straws that people are like, oh, it's like helpful, helpful with the environment. It's like, mm-hmm. we're still, like, I don't know the yeah. statistics behind it. I'm not going to act like I do. But I genuinely would rather drink straight from the cup or like not drink at all if I have a paper straw. And I'm That's so sorry. Yeah, because the paper straw just like. It tastes you know. nasty. Like you could taste the paper while you're drinking. And something. it just like, like, let's say you're drinking a lemonade, right? Oh. You're drinking in lemonade, mm-hmm. right? And some I love lemonade, some but... fast food restaurants or just restaurants in general, they serve it with the flakes. The with lemon the, sh- the lemon flakes. Do they? Yeah, the there's pulp. like pulp, pulp, whatever. Yeah. Whatever. Still the yeah. same shit. But anyway, mm-hmm. you literally will drink and then you'll think it's that. But it's really just the paper breaking off like she was saying. So either they need to invest this money that they make it off of all of us and start, you know, giving us some metal straws. They could they could even do something cool with it. Like they could have Chick-fil-A written on the side of it or McDonald's written on the side of it. And then that's manufacturer costs and it's not Psst, really... They're making billions of dollars. But there's metal straws now. Are you really using metal straws? Well, the thing is, I haven't really we're not in a state where we have to use paper. We go to McDonald's, we get plastic. We go to Wendy's, we get plastic. We're not in a situation where I need to be like, oh yeah, I need to go out to Walmart and go buy a metal straw. I forgot what state was. It? Every state has those. Paper. And, yeah, I'm sure different restaurants have different ways of name. Name what restaurant we went to and had paper. Up, Up here, here, we don't go out, so I couldn't tell you. Um, but down there. I feel like there's definitely a restaurant that down we there. To. Up here, it's backwards because we banned plastic bags, but they didn't ban plastic bags. But we banned. Well, where we are, they are kind of. I get it, but outdated. But anyways. Very outdated. Anyways. But yeah, no. Listen. Sorry, there, I had there's a what debate. I listen. Anyways, if I was one of these CEOs, I would have been like, "Yo, we're going to metal. F all of that." That way they can always bring it back, wash it, blah, blah, blah. Get the cleaner in Walmart if you really needed to. Dude, but I feel like we're really off topic. So I'd rather yes, talk about <laughs> summer and childhood Which memories. Which is fine. I understand, like, literally fuck I paper straws. I totally get what you're saying. I hate paper Understood. straws. Understood. Next. But Go I feel ahead. like you just drink out of whatever. whatever. I think it had nothing to do with what they were talking about. Weather change rushes being back and forth from, like, different states. Mm. You know? Like, it, it could be, like, freezing back home right now. I don't even, like, it's so sad. Like, whenever I, we pack for Boston, I, like, text some friends. I'm like, what should I be wearing? Like, I don't even remember what weather it that's is. That's not sad. I feel like that's just, like, no, but it's gross. Just getting a heads up. Here. Like, I'll yeah. text Maddie, be like, what the fuck or do, do I expect? Like, what should I bring shorts? Well, because it I changes do... in, like, two minutes. It's yeah. like, I don't know. I'm never prepared. 
that's why I kind of have a closet in both places because I'm like at this point I really need to just like be yeah. prepared for any sort of weather mm-hmm. weather any sort of weather wherever I am <laughs> I have to just be prepared for that no matter what okay <laughs> <laughs> like return to the injuries okay dude that also sounds like an album which one to injuries return to the injuries all right Chris your the next injury we have on the list is the one that you yeah, went through. I, so you're we went to a park. And you know that thing you slide on like this. Like I don't know how to describe it to these people. It's like, the metal. It's, it's the, like, it's the, like zip the metal line. zip line that you grab on and you slide to one side and just let go. Like, I think I know exactly. It's like a, uh, I've been on something like that. Um, like a zip line. Like that. Like like it's, just, it's literally <laughs> like some rink and dink thing. But like you get on and I guess it has like it rollers handles? at the top. Rails. And you kind of, Rails. Like, but you're holding on to them and they have... No, them. you're holding on to, like, actual zip line type of thing that you would use at mm-hmm. an actual zip line. And then I think it has, like, actual wheels on the top, so, like, when you slide down, you're supposed to jump off of it, you know? But I think that's what he's alluding to or talking about. Uh, I love how they all just have their hands. <laughs> <laughs> it's like holding, like, a... It's like as if you're gonna, like, hang up a poster with, like, a spear, but it's above you. <laughs> <laughs> so, like... This is the crazy That's how you shit. hang it up. You know I what I mean? So. Like you gotta like it's like you have a really big thumbtack and you gotta put it into a poster, but okay, the poster's Nick, also you're four feet above you. <laughs> 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 you okay. it. It's like it's like you have a big poster and you gotta hang it up, but the top of the poster is like your hand straight up is how far up it is. You know what it's I mean? Like, you search metal zip line at like the pop it's, up. It's like if you had to throw a spear yeah. over your head with both hands. Yeah, I guess. Like that. Instead of but just... It's like I was on the metal thing and I was holding it. My mom was holding my waist because I was like four. I was super young. She was holding onto my waist so that I didn't fall. And then... Oh, I don't know about four. Four's crazy. We're like nine at least. No. Absolutely. We were young, bro. Dude, I could speak and show. We were young. Can you talk when you're four? Yes. You Uh can talk by like you're two. Okay, go ahead, Chris. Okay, (laughs) Okay, Nick, sorry. Can you stop talking? I have like a problem with like, I don't understand like. Nick, I think children. You, I like, think you, like, <laughs> like, we were hey, the youngest. Hey, stop. You Matt. let him just I'm talk speaking. about no. it. <laughs> <laughs> Genuinely, like, I don't know how old we were because, like, we were the youngest, like, last ones born into, like, our family, right? Like, we're, like, the youngest of, what like, What are you our... talking about, No, bro? Like, I'm saying, like, we're the youngest of our generation. Like, all of our cousins are, like, our age or, like, older, you know? So it's, like, we I've never experienced We've never experienced, okay, like, cool. someone growing up. So, like, I genuinely don't know, like, oh, when the fuck can they start talking, okay, you know? Anyway, I was young. <laughs> There you go. Perfect. Whatever. <laughs> I was young and I was on the metal zip line thing. My mom was holding my waist and I fl- like started flailing out of her arms because I wanted to like do it on my own. I wanted to be like a big guy. Like I wanted to be a, and you weren't. a big kid. And, and then, you weren't. So I was like shimmying and shaking to try to get out of her grip and I succeeded and then fell and smashed my head on the yeah, on, like, like the some... second you actually mm-hmm. got out of mom's grip, you also let go of the fucking thing. <laughs> so he just slammed into like a metal grate on the ground. Yeah. Oh. Out, the hospital got staples. Two. Two, two staples in the front of the fucking and head. He got a sick headband. Oh. I actually still have a ball spot. I'm not showing anybody though. I'll show you all another time. Yikes. Like, that's, why, that's why I started to grow my hair. That's why he's so funny. Like once he hit his head on there, like, yo, it just started being funny. It's a boom. I You're like that. Enough. I'm gonna go smash my head into something. That's why I grow. I, I remember there were these park. two like military guys because it's near like where this happened to Chris. It's near like the the Boston military airport. Training facility. Like it's near like military training, like the airport, like I whatever. Don't think that's right. I think it was two dudes. No, in, it's like, not like a military training thing. It's like near like it was two dudes in mili- military suits giving out like taffy for an organization. They were. I think, oh, so it no, doesn't no, matter where like, the fuck you are. No, yeah. it was it. The military thing was close, but I think they were. And they they just were knew there. Because the like you know how it's like the it. science. They just helped out. They were good Samaritans. Next. Yeah. Well, no, because I remember they felt bad for me. Matt gave us a fuck ton of candy because you were her. Yeah, I got cashing in on this. Absolutely. And they gave me Matt like pops at the hospital yeah, I, I got chilling. a headband and staples and y'all got popsicles bro kid had to like <laughs> wear a headband for like two weeks it was crazy it was mad funny okay you looked cool though your thank hair you, was like bro. spiked through it like it looked thank so you, hospital like it was okay, like matt stepping on glass go ahead okay. this is so embarrassing. all right we got a lot more injuries so i'm just gonna try to start Let's just summarizing these off them so yeah me stepping on glass um Ooh. we were when you we get ice cream is little when you we when you get ice cream as little kids in our family, it was like, obviously, there's the one thing of ice cream. We all wanted it. It was me, Nick, Chris, Justin, my mom, and my dad all getting ice cream. So they would scoop it. Mom and dad would scoop it for us, put it in bowls. And then I was last in line this day. So Nick and Chris were before me. So I had my little glass bowl. And I was 
I was banging the glass bowl with a spoon, like a little mm-hmm. like ice cream chant. I was like, no, oh, like me and Chris cream, were weird little cream. kids where we used to just like if all since all three of us were getting like either rewarded or punished at the same time, it's like you know like that feeling of like joy when you get like a reward. It's like that's a we were like a little board. tribe. So, like, all three of us, yeah, we were like a little tribe, Tri- and we were people. dancing, mm. so, ice cream. yeah, we got ice cream. We'd be like, woo like jumping and banging the ice cream like clanging it together so i was hitting a glass bowl with a metal spoon in the same spot and Mm. when i hit the bowl it broke and a piece of the glass fell off of it and went onto the floor honestly to this day we don't even know if you're the one that broke the glass oh we're for sure we're 100 percent. are we he broke it with a spoon well i'm just saying like any of (laughs) that i had with a spoon think about it i feel like you need to just let people finish their stories honestly oh wow no hate oh just genuinely shut up sometimes oh i mean is he wrong? He's not wrong, but Nick, are you gonna? You're gonna take that? Are you gonna take that? The hoodie that matches your shirt's right next to you. It's right next to you. It takes two seconds. Um, I don't know. Hey. Nick, you gonna take that? Right, right, this one. Okay, right next to you. Oh wow. Go ahead. Go ahead. Damn, big slime. Literally, so actually, I fucked myself. That's great. So I got the glass and I got the spoon. Broke the glass with the spoon. This is like my third time saying it because Nick interrupted me. Stepped on the glass with my... I mean, needed stitches in his toe. And I needed five stitches in my big toe. Maybe Wait. Like blue. Here's the... No, it was five stitches. Oh God. But here's the funny part of the story. So, I when I stepped on it, I didn't even know that I stepped on it until I was walking around on the white carpet and there was just bloody <gasps> footprints walking, oh. following where I was walking. And I was like, oh, somebody checked their foot. It's bleeding. So I checked my foot. It was my foot. It was bleeding. Went to the hospital, and then they were stopping the blood since it wasn't that bad of a cut with a cotton ball. And they accidentally pushed the cotton ball into my big toe, and then couldn't get it out. What? Let's not be crazy. It Like, like they were holding it there, and it like kind of just like, part of the cotton ball went in my foot. I don't know what you're saying. And then he's wrapped him up. So the fun fact, Matt has a cotton ball in his foot. <laughs> <laughs> it's all bloodstream. in his bloodstream. Okay, yes. next. Cool. Kicked in the face so by, at nasty, baseball bro. by a kid named Pac-Man. Okay, so this is also my story. Let's, like, oh my actually God. get to the point, you know? No, yeah, Dude, I know. I like, come on, the world's our oyster. Fucking relax. Shut so up, Nick. Chris, me and Chris... The world's our together, oyster. He was the pitcher, I was the catcher. We were the dynamic duo. Nobody could stop us. We won a championship that year. So, Chris is pitching... I mean, I wouldn't say all that, but... We were. We were the best. We had the chemistry. Come on. I mean, it was pretty good, though. So, Chris is pitching to me. I'm catching. And... Some kid hits an absolute dinger to center field, and this kid Pac-Man on the other team is on third base, mm-hmm. and the center fieldman gets the ball. The kid on third base tags up, but he caught it in center Dude, field. Like I literally like, was home. there, and I'm forgetting how this goes. Like you're using too much of like baseball terminology. No, when you're the catcher, if there's a deep hit or like a foul ball, you're supposed to take your mask off so you can see. So you right. Can catch mm-hmm. the ball. Right. So Matt was the catcher. He took his mask off. He's about to tag this kid coming in from third base straight at him, and the kid decided to just bury fucking mm. absolutely buried. And Somehow got, his foot hit Matt's face. And then the kid got, no, this is a different story. Yeah, but then Matt, no, Matt got sent to the back of the fucking. <laughs> I like, literally got body checked by this kid named Pac Man all the way to the the back of the fucking home plate. Like, <laughs> Interesting. Kid, Jesus. Sure. Same game. Went to slide home Bro, and kick Matt. Nothing even that kid cleat. used to go up to bat, and his like nickname was Pac Man. So his whole team would just like chant like waka 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 and like do the thing. But bro, he Matt he absolutely buried me. Same game. (laughs) That was a fucking power pellet. Yeah, absolutely. (laughs) Same game. Later in the game, Uh, I did the same thing, almost same play, except the kids running from second to home. I took the mask off. I have my glove with the ball in it, Mm -hmm. right in front of home plate. If this kid slides home, I'm tagging him out. And we're changing it. you in the face. His his cleat went up my glove, <gasps> and he kicked me in the face with the cleat. And I literally, that's just like, another day of baseball. Just another day of baseball. That's <laughs> oh, from wow. one of the meme pages that I have, sadly. But I, I got mean, kicked it, in the it, face it with truly the cleat. Was just another day of baseball. Except I got kicked in the face. So yeah. all right. Um, do you guys want to know what the most common injury to children is? I'm like oh, God. actually beyond hmm. curious. I know that Nick's gonna just die laughing. I, I want to give you each a guess. What is the most common injury to children that puts them in the hospital? What do you think? I uh, I, I don't. There's so many something. things, but I just don't know. I would have just said running into something, or they just fall. 
really hard on their head. I, I'm not yeah, sure. Yeah, I would say falling, but other than that, I don't know. Maybe putting their hand over the stove, but I don't know really too many kids doing that. Oh, so it's hospitalization. Um, to the or level just like emergency room related. I feel like thing. it's got to be like choking. Okay. No. Yeah, it's no, like no, little kids no, that are like trying no, to like talk to their no, mom or dad, and they're like no. eating like a fucking. Is, bagel is that an injury no, though? I honestly feel like when kids like let's be for real. It, I don't think there's really kids that are like, like do kids really talk like that when they eat? I feel like kids never shut the fuck up. Like no, kids are like, like, like so usually to, like, when they eat, like, oh. usually like ninety five percent of kids that I know, like little kids, like when they have to eat, like their parents are like okay, like you have to eat, like make sure you're eating, and they like they're having so much fun or something that they don't want to fucking eat. So like they'll sit down like the corner for like five minutes, like all pissed at their mom, and just be like. <laughs> yeah, eat at like mm. such a rapid rate and then just be done. So I feel like they're not choking because they're focusing on eating okay, something so and like go to something guess, else. Then. God. Well, I'm just talking about go it. Ahead, this Nick. is a fucking podcast. I don't know what you want me to do. Like, go not ahead. speak go about ahead. it. <laughs> go. I think it's probably like their sibling like hurt them. I like I think, think this so is. I think it's like, and then we have sim sibling. Like a that's like, insane. Injured. Well, no, it's like a sibling like either like it's definitely them. not choking. Uh, can you just read it? Because this kid's getting on my last nerve. <laughs> <laughs> either you. I mean, either that or just like genuinely like falling onto like the ground. Well, there you go. Nick wins. Is it? Oh, falling. It falls. <laughs> the most common injury to children is falls. The most common injury and in cause for kids of all ages. Falls are the leading cause of injury among children. In fact, the Center of Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, says that roughly 8,000 children are treated in the U.S. and <laughs> for a fall-related wow. injury every single day. Dude. I just thought it was so funny because I know that you were just going to laugh that these kids are falling. No, because I genuinely think room. like kids like... like they need it's to pay so more crazy like how many kids I've seen mm -hmm. fall. Yeah. You know, like, I remember we were outside of a fucking, like, Red Lobster or whatever it was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've dude. never eaten at a Red Lobster. Not Red Lobster. Lobster. Right. Something you else. won't see me. Wanna, like, disclose that name of this restaurant. But, uh, Lobster Pot. Okay. okay. <laughs> yeah. We were at the fucking Lobster Pot, and this little girl was, like, with her family, and there was, like, a, it's, like, 95% of the time it's kids' fault. It's, like, their parents' fault, because it's, like, you need to just, like, I'm not a parent, and I'm not telling people how to parent, but it's, like, Watch, watch your, your kid, kid bro. Like, not even like, watch your kid, but it's just, like, if they're, like, coming up on a curb, sometimes I understand, like, I'm not a parent, so, like, don't oh fucking... My... Well, I don't want people to be, like, <laughs> parents and telling them that, like, they can't parent well and this and that. Genuinely, like, I feel like most of the time kids are falling, it's because, like, I understand, like, wanting your kid to, like, learn new things, so, like, people will just be, like, like, they'll, <laughs> they'll like, force their kid to, like, oh, you can walk down the stairs on your own, like, in order to learn how to do it, you know? But sometimes I'm just more of, like, if you help the kid, like, life will be easier. It's like this girl that fell, like this three-year-old at Lobster Pot, her mom was like holding her hand and she was walking and she's like coming up on a curb. And instead of her mom like picking her up and helping her down the curb, she doesn't even see that the curb's coming and falls straight on her <laughs> face onto the ground. Because oh, oh. she missed that the curb. That. It's like, I feel like if like the mom just picked the girl up and put her on the ground, like instead of letting her try and figure out how to jump over a curb on her own, like, eventually, she'll learn eventually as she gets older. It's like, not everything has to be a learning curve that leads to injury. Yeah, true that. Next. Ex Whatever, Matt. Like, I don't know. Not <sighs> say anything. Just next. What season do you go apple picking? Fall. 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 I mean, that's quite apparent. Like, come on. I can't wait for fall to come back around, and I want to go apple picking. I love apple picking. That was, like, one of my, like... Remember when we went apple picking with a group of friends, and they did, like, a snowball fight but with apples? And I got and... drilled in the spine with an apple? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That I do remember that. That was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Who was? I remember our friends from oh. our old hockey team. Yeah. Just... Drill the fucking apples, apple like, at Matt's spine. I just love apple orchard vibes. Like you get to feed, I agree, feed Chris. some goats, go on a hayride. Hay yeah, I, I always go apple picking every single year. It's such a vibe. <laughs> such a vibe, bro. <laughs> Why is that so funny to you? Is this is there something you want to talk about? Like I agree with your statement. <laughs> you look like you got a lot on your mind from that statement. No, but I love apple picking. I love pumpkin patches, Corn hay hazards, rides. I be doing all of that. I know. <laughs> I know. I do them with you. We got to do it. I Cap. never partook she in a haze. Yeah, none of that. Like, I, what? He that. Like, I love that. Do he never did. Oh, yeah, he right. never did. You don't do that. I genuinely that. Period, afraid that I'd never get out. Yeah. And it's like, dude, some of them are scary. 
Yeah. Have what you seen on, on TikTok? There's like this one thing. It's like top 100 like scariest. Oh my god, dude! Ever. I saw this. Yeah, and it was like it was like a sign at like a haystack thing. Oh, no, and it was like oh, it was like it was like enter at your own risk, and we send like. Oh, we if you sent... get lost, there's like a un- uh, finding unit every 48 hours or yeah, some shit. Yeah, that's insane. Mm-hmm. I saw that. It's like, bro, if there's ever a risk of me being stuck in a maze for 48 hours, <laughs> I'm at no, least that's a insane. wagon of everything I could need ever. That's they excessive. Just go in a straight line like through the hedges. Then what if the finding team doesn't find you? You, you know, know what I mean? 48 hours. Yeah, I get what like, you're saying, but what if you just end like, up, like, you're not in the woods. It's like, spiked walls. It's, like, just walk no, out. No, my biggest fear... Go through the my trees. My biggest fear it's is, like, like being in a maze. maze and you no, just go listen. Deeper. Listen, my biggest fear is being in a maze and, like, actually almost being at the end of it. But then, like, imagine, like, the creator of the maze or something is just putting up walls where the... Like, okay, like, come on. Yo, what is I this, know, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, no, he scared me. Holy shit. I saw this TikTok. He scared me. not watching their kids. It was like this track race, and these kids were running around the lap. It was like the final lap, like it was a legit high school race. Uh-huh. And one of oh, the, I saw that. Yeah, and one of like, one of the kids ran onto the track, ran uh-huh. into like the uh-huh. track, got and trucked. The kid couldn't stop his momentum. Like he was just sprinting laps. And now this kid's like on the final stretch. He's sprinting, <laughs> and then the kid just gets like knee to his face, and he gets sent. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> you showed me a video like that. I believe. Possibly. Or I don't I've seen know. a video. I tried to like cut that. open a baseball to see what was inside of it. I accidentally stabbed my finger. I got two stitches. Like, Google it. Like, so dumb. Yeah. I, mean, like, <laughs> I remember with him, like, dude, why are you doing that? And, like, I was looking like, oh, over him. don't worry. I'll and be fine. I was like, don't cut yourself. And he was like. He stabbed his house in the hand. His finger and open. I remember they literally brought it to the emergency room. And I'm pretty sure this was, like, the last time you hurt yourself, like, emergency level since the golf club to the head. So I remember going and thinking, like, oh, we'll go to the emergency room and they'll help him, like, immediately. Because the last time we went, it was such a severe no. thing that I forgot. They made that, him like, sit with his hand and, like, I, like, fucking... literally did not know because the first time anything, like, hurt. emergency level happened to us was Matt getting hit in the head with a golf club. Mm-hmm. So I always thought that the emergency room was, like, 100% accessible, like, all the time, like, immediate help. Mm-hmm. But yeah. it's based off, no. of, like, severity of injury where, like, Matt got immediate help because his head was gushing blood and, like, skipped the line. You know what I mean? So when, like... Matt cut his hand open and it wasn't like a life threatening injury. And they were like, had him in the waiting room. And then they put him, they put him in a room and just like had his hand soaking in like, like a liquid for like two hours. I was like, there's no fucking way. This I, is I taking so long. A big thing. Welcome to America. And shit, bro. Imagine mm. like every day you're like just sitting at a, at the like hospital waiting for like the next person to come in like bleeding and you have to like and you have help no them. Cl- imagine like, like you have and you're you're no, at a, yeah you have a no clue what could walk and through the door you know how many times like a doctor is probably Yo, like, suppo- that's honestly okay so, sorry. just interrupt me i want to can i yeah 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 sorry go ahead all right i'll, I'll, cool. I'll you're still interrupting him or like i literally just <laughs> like, hey, you you know, me, and then he kept going like that was insane whatever <laughs> wow anyway <laughs> Um, Damn! You know how many doctors probably like oh I have five minutes left on their shift and then someone comes in like and then they have to like stay like three that hours. That happens, like, dude. They must. Put it's in like overtime. I can't imagine like the kid like like when people, you're in school and someone's like oh I want to be a doctor. Like I remember in high school and kids were telling me that yeah. it was, like the last thing like, I'd ever want to do. Of fun. Bro, yeah. I want to go. Like, God bless you because like someone's got to do it and I'm so thankful for you. Yeah. But my prayers <laughs> I are with go you. Same can- thing with like being in the military. Like God bless anybody that was saying in high school that they Same wanted thing. to be in the Navy military air force because dog i can't do it i can't do it like the navy boy if i should go down what happened we all going down so no i can't do it i can't do it can't do it can't do it it. i want to go see the doctor and or the doctors that like fix me up do you even remember them i just remember it was a woman i never saw who they were well good luck no i know it's really broad. You're yeah. sorting like fifty percent of the earth. Any woman who's helped the kid <laughs> no, but with I a head injury, the emergency. Room. I don't know. Okay, um, Good. she probably retired. It. When Matt was it? Who you ran into the water fountain? Yeah, that's why I have no end to my red like, eyebrow. Dude, what a mess of a kid this was. Yeah. What? That's insane. He really sprinted. He was. Uh, we were small children, and we were young. And Matt was eye level with the water fountain, and ran straight into it, bashed his head. Now he has half a quarter of an eyebrow. <laughs> I think. Hmm. What the fuck? Black eye because yeah. we were supposed to go to like the aquarium or something, and then me and Matt were arguing. So I was cha- chasing him around the house because he hit me. And then he ran into a closet and slammed the door <laughs> shut. And then so I was like, st- I had too much momentum chasing after him. And I was like doorknob level. Oh. I was like doorknob level. And it like hit me right in the eye. And mm. I had a black eye from Do running you know into a doorknob. Damn. Door Damn. Two black mm. eyes in mm. both eyes. You remember that? Mm-hmm. How? I was, walking up the- I was walking up the stairs with a golf club. And I was like tapping the club on like each step. 
and then I like jammed the club and like was like I was like I don't know what the fuck I was doing, but I I like wedged the golf club between the steps and my eye and like mm. hit my eye with like the end of a golf club. Ooh. And then the next one, I built a sled on the stairs <laughs> and I put like blankets and pillows. And I went to slide down. You remember this. You I remember on, like, this. You were on the sled with me. <laughs> <laughs> Nick just okay. looks distraught. Yes. He's like, mad. I remember. But I was sitting down on this blanket and pillow structure I built, and I slid down the stairs, and the other eye went into, like, the hand railing on the oh. way down. Mm. I, like, smacked my eye on the hand railing. So mm. I'm, like, days apart. Like, yeah. Literally, like, two days off each yeah. other. So I remember I went into, like, third grade, and I had a black eye in each eye. It was the most embarrassing shit ever. I looked like a raccoon. Like, literally, <laughs> really embarrassing. Yeah. Okay, next, Nick fell at the school. Dude. Oh, I know. This is so about. frustrating. Our The school that we went to had, like, a little, like, spinny thing in the front. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah there's something about people falling that I just, like, start laughing about. Not not saying that it is funny, but I, mm-hmm. I'm laughing. But their school had a little... You know what they talk about? The little no. you push and it spins around. Little yeah, carousel like doors. They had one of those. That's very interesting. I've never mm. seen a school have something like that before. Wrong. It's the school we went to. Okay, it was a school we were attending at the time. Our no, other we school. went. The school we went to was really small, and there was like a winter blizzard or whatever, so like the roof caved in into like <laughs> the sixth grade classrooms. <laughs> so they were like, okay, we have to move our sixth graders, like our whole school. So the one what through the first, so the kindergarten through fifth grade went to a separate school, and then the sixth graders only, for some reason, went to a different school in our city for what? like legit like three months. We still had the same teachers and everything. We were just like using empty classrooms that they That's had. Really so it was like weird. a school of, within a school. Like, I don't think you were genuinely with kids from the other school until you were in, yeah, like... No, I don't no know. unless you were at lunch or... Uh, lunch yeah. and recess was so the then only Nick time. Nick went on, like, wow. yeah, they had, like, a spinning structure. wheel outside, and, like, they would always get, like, the super light kids on it before school and just, like, spin it around. And my were, like, really oh, short. Oh, never school. mind. So they were just, they like, spinning door. kids hmm. around on it. So I remember I was, like, hanging on for dear life, and they spun me, like, 800 miles per hour. Oh, I, I would throw up. off, and I think I went, like, at least six feet to the side. More. Way more. Like, nine. Like, yeah, bro. like, I flung <laughs> off this thing. And then I just landed They're awkwardly horrible. on my ankle. So I, like, sprayed my ankle, and I was on crutches. And then... The next day, there was a fire alarm. Yes. And then we had the to... The next day, there was a fucking fire drill. And I I was getting water during the fire drill. And my class left without me. And I was, like, crutching around trying to find an exit to the building. How fun. Hmm. fucking I hate fire <laughs> drills. <laughs> They're so annoying. But Don't I also, worry. like, loved, but I like... Get it. I was always on, like, the teacher's good side. So, like, I'd go over... Bro, in reality, if they would have just showed us, like, the escape routes, we didn't necessarily need to walk out of the building. Elementary school, you're not gonna remember that shit. Ah, uh, I'm talking about when we get to like high school. High school, yeah. And sort but, of middle school, like son, I didn't, I know where my exits are. Just teach me where they are in class. Like you don't need to get up, walk around. Like a lockdown, I can understand. Mm-hmm. I guess. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Like a note, a sticky note on their desk that would say like fire drill today. You know what? what I mean? Like, yeah, they knew the fire, fire drills, drills were coming. scheduled. Like, teachers knew fire drills were coming. That's, that's like, like, also yes, they like, did. I feel like the kids should just know yes, that they're going to experience like a drill. Well, that's today. like the yeah. That's I mean, well, the same way. That does defeat the purpose. Not, yeah, really. like, the you purpose. Don't have to be mm-hmm. Caught off guard by a drill, you just need to learn from it. Correct. Like, I well, remember, we, like, I remember when a fire drill would go down and it was like fucking raining or like some crazy <sighs> Massachusetts weather, and I'd be in like a t-shirt and I'd go outside and like fucking be freezing my dick off. No, literally. No, I remember they they like. I don't know. I don't understand not warning people for <laughs> drills because you still learn. You know what That's I mean? That's what I'm saying. You just take out like, well, actually, I kind of get it because it's like you, you won't be able to prepare for I, it. I just can't believe it's like, it, I, I just can't believe how startling of a, a, a thing that is like, imagine Dude. Like, being in class just reading and then the oh fucking my God, I remember, fire alarms. No, I remember like, in first grade, it was lunchtime. Who was in first grade with me? All of us, right? Yes. Yeah. It was lunchtime and I had a fruit roll up and the fire alarm went off and I went ah! and I threw my arms up and I let go of the fruit roll up. Oh no! And then I I had forgot about it because I was like scared and it never came back yes, down. Fine. So then we went outside for like twenty minutes. The fire department came. I came back to the classroom and I was working on my project. Like lunch was over. Yeah. Because fucking of course they do the fire drill during my fucking lunch. So yeah. we come back and everyone was getting straight to work. And then. I'm pretty sure we had like a reading test or something that day or like a spelling test. And like 20 minutes later, a fuck the fruit roll up just <laughs> fell onto my desk. Like, Dude, man, I was like, first class. I was so happy I ate it. Class, I was like, lunch was what over. the that fuck? First grade <laughs> class was insane. 
Like, you remember like, the she, she had, she had yeah, tadpoles. Yeah, we got frogs and tadpoles no, as she, gifts. She had tadpoles what? and frogs. <laughs> she had tadpoles and frogs. As and gifts. Then she, Nick, hold on. She had tadpoles and frogs. And then when she, I think she retired as a teacher that year. Yeah. <laughs> yes. No? <laughs> yes. She re- no, I think she no, just had too she, many. No, she retired as a teacher that year. So she just gave all the frogs and tadpoles as pets to all the kids no, no, to no, bring no, home. No, no. If Let's they not wanted it. Hmm? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If they I'm wanted it. I'm pretty sure everyone had to, get, okay like, had to sign a permission slip. Get yes, a permission yes, slip. Yes, and yes. we got our permission slip signed. Like, if this kid wins a frog in class tomorrow, they can bring it home. Do you yes. want to know what I always... And then we had a frog raffle. Yeah. Legit, a raffle. <laughs> <laughs> For the frogs and tadpoles. <laughs> Hell no. No, I'm good. Hell no. Speaking of frogs, I literally saw the nastiest frog. I told you. The last no, but it wasn't on the side of the door. It was on the ground in the corner. I'm not even kidding you. But I still this told big. you though. I told you that they was out. I've never seen a frog that big. Like it was bigger than what I've ever seen before. Yo, what's the difference between a frog and a toad? Could have been a toad. No, toad I'm has toad I'm... has like the little bumps on its back uh-huh. type of thing, and they're just gross. Frogs are gross. I don't, I don't know. I don't care. Frogs are. They frogs. both leap. Yes. Does one have a yellow tongue, or is that a poisonous one? A yellow tongue. Yeah, you never heard of the yellow tongue frog? No. Are you talking about a poison dart frog and like the Amazon forest where they're poisonous? Oh, so how you know that, but don't know a yellow tongue frog? You You're knew no exactly what I was saying. Then Stop say it. that. Say a poison but, dart frog. But how am I supposed to know dart was in a word? Because that's the name of the frog. Oh. Not yellow tongue. Sorry, I didn't study the Amazon forest like you guys did. Or the, that, no. Sorry, I didn't study it like you guys did. I'm okay, sorry. they're trying to watch okay, the podcast. Okay, okay. Stop pausing. I'm trying to watch the podcast too. Stop pausing. Frog. It was dude, literally like grade. bingo, dude. And there was like. We got a fish, no? Yeah, we got a fish. Did we? It died yeah. in like a week. Yeah. Okay, Nick. <laughs> Rest going back in peace. Come on, yeah. fish. One thing that I always found house. funny is the fact that I feel like... Frog raffles? It's eight. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> I just ignored him. Just I keep going. I hope everyone wants to know how insane the frog raffle was, because that just interrupted my sentence. Go ahead. Yeah. If you aren't already completely baffled by the frog raffle, I'm <laughs> hoping you were re-baffled nuts. by yeah. the frog raffle. Anyway, school lunch. I feel like that's something that along the ages that you grow and the grades you go up, should increase like i feel like you should be bringing more of a hearty lunch to school every year that went on i would bring less and less for school lunch not until only I, like, that wasn't school, school lunch was no, good not in only high that, school but i used to Decent. just like literally the f- like the actual quality of school lunches that the school provided just, was less and less yes i like, remember I field remember... day it was like oh my I god <laughs> i don't know what that was i remember in first grade i literally would go to school with like Ritz and peanut butter, mm-hmm. celery sticks Dude, and carrots. It was planned fruit out. Roll up a Capri Sun. Well, and like bringing like, like a, a lunch box. box. Tree. And then I can you can negotiate. In with high friends. school, bringing like a lunch box is like embarrassing. No, so yeah, but it's, yeah, it, it should uh, be. We should normalize I bringing would go lunch to, I would to school. Go to school yeah, hungry every single day, and then get the worst lunch like provided with the school. Dude, but in I, kindergarten. Like, I never liked school lunch. Like, I didn't like the pizza or, like, the gross shit no, that they had. No, in kindergarten, so no, it just felt like, like I would gourmet. Literally have, no, like, in kindergarten, I, it was, like, real. smoked bacon with <laughs> garnished with. Like, yeah, I felt no, like I was I eating literally... good in kindergarten. What? No, me... Like, what was your favorite food in school and your least favorite? I'm not going to lie. My high school, for being what it was, if anyone ever figures it out or finds it out, we did have some good mozzarella sticks. The pizza okay. used to be slamming. I ain't going to lie. We used to sell pretzels. Um, they used to do pasta. Yeah, that pasta was okay. No, nah, our pasta was good. They used to do the little to- bow ties <gasps> and the spirals. Oh! Did you know that some people... <laughs> I'm not even going to get into no, it. No, you should get into it. Get, <laughs> it. get into it. Some people that I know, bro. That we personally know. They think there's a difference between spiral... <laughs> I can't even say it. It's just so stupid. Should I say it? Okay. I can't. So I need y'all to to let us know in the comment section. This is real. Uh, This is based on a true story. If there's a difference in taste (laughs) between elbow (laughs) macaroni, shells, (gasps) spiral mac and cheese, and any shape (laughs) of pasta you can think of. 
please let us know. Let us know, bro, because I obviously we know the tricolor. I have never had tricolor. I love tricolor. That it, it does taste different from like the regular. That because right? it's okay. spinach. Okay, and, yes. of course. So that means but that no and the whole wheat are the only two that really have distinct tastes from the original. <laughs> Do you know that someone that we also know? <laughs> Exposed. Can't eat pizza <laughs> with cheese on it. Oh, you're getting into that. Oh, okay. I can't eat pasta or lasagna. <laughs> yeah, that I don't know how that works. I don't that know shit how that don't make no. That shit just be frying my brain sometimes. I'm like, that makes sense to you. And people, people just be sitting there like, yeah. I'm like, I'm no. I get baffled by every time we discuss it. But anyways, real quick, my favorite. So, what was your least favorite? My least favorite. And then I'll say mine real quick because we're talking. Was probably the peanut butter and jelly sandwich <gasps> triangles. Triangles? They used to cut it in triangles. So it would be like in half. What? Well, okay. Let me explain. High school, it was in triangles. Mm-hmm. So they were already pre-cut for you. Mm-hmm. And they were just packaged that way. But in middle school and elementary school, I remember that they were already like fully, fully sandwiched. They weren't cut or anything unless you asked for it. But the only reason why I hate it is because the peanut butter and the jelly had a distinct taste that I didn't like. Okay. It wasn't like the jelly that I would go out and buy mm-hmm. or the skippy peanut butter. It mm-hmm. was whole human meat. Real quick. My so. favorite. Well, we had the little, the ones that are packaged. The ones that are in the stores. What? Yeah. That's peanut butter The jelly. Smuckers? Yeah. We had those. We ain't had we that, though. bust down on those in we high school. That. We My had vending fav- machines. That too. And that's where I started eating Doritos sweet spicy chili. But anyways, my favorite food that we had was, believe it or not, we had orange chicken and rice. No, we didn't have that. It was that I was looking forward every time they had that. Because they'd have like a menu, like in the morning you'll see it. Hmm. And so you'll know what you're getting for, for lunch. And I'm like, orange chicken. And you could choose between the mm-hmm. schmuckers or... Which was always an alternative. You could always do that if you didn't like what was on the menu. Right. But the orange chicken and rice was good. Their tacos were okay. But my least favorite thing that they had was the is two things: the taquitos. Okay. I just didn't like the the meat that they did with it. Okay. And I did not like their hot dogs. Now, one of the worst things that their I'll say about nasty. high school was the fact that if you had a late lunch, and I only got this one time. Lucky. And it may have been sophomore Sorry. year. Is they would have all the other periods set up for food, but by the time they got to your last period, mm-hmm. like they barely had anything. Really? It was scraps. I'm like, how the hell are you gonna have this late ass lunch? But you don't have like You don't have enough for the rest of the You day. don't have enough for the rest of the goddamn school. Like that mind boggled me. Like I said, I only had that one time, but it like it irked the hell out of me because it just didn't make sense. Interesting. It didn't make sense. So. But yeah, just had a little debate about food. But yeah, comment down how y'all feel about pasta. Mm-hmm. One, because that shit's crazy. That's a that's a that's a daily thing. Almost I've not even elbows daily. That's a very and, and it was shells. elbows and shells. Like, to be honest, it's a texture thing, I guess. To each his own, but texture, it, it makes yeah. no sense to me. But People anyway. in texture, y'all just. Depends on the food, but anyways. So genuinely, it felt like I was eating like Gordon Ramsay level shit in yeah, kindergarten. Yeah, we got to high school and I literally would have goldfish or rice krispie treat and like a fucking seltzer water. I'd for be lucky if I day. ate in high school. Bro, honestly, the store at the high school is great though. Yeah, but like, they didn't I have a lot. I literally start my day going to this convenience store and I'd go to school with peanut M and M's and a Pepsi or like a brisk. But yeah, I used tea. to go to the mm. convenience store and just buy mm. candy to and eat. And then I would just go to like every Dunkin' day. Donuts for lunch, like leave the school. No, I remember when. I think my favorite part of high school was once I finally realized that, like, it didn't matter as yeah. much as I thought it did. Yeah. And I just started leaving classes. Yeah. Oh. Mm-hmm. Like, as bad as that is to, like, say. I didn't do that. I, no, like, I, didn't. Genuinely, I, I did one My favorite part of high school was realizing that I could just walk away. <laughs> mm-hmm. He still like graduated, though. Like, but, like, that was Bro, after we need to do I a high school sure. pod. Yeah. Like, a whole high school but that was pod. after I made sure that, like, I was past my classes, like, by the skin of my teeth. But. I wasn't like in danger of not graduating. Mm. It was like, it's like, do I go to English class today or do I eat a meal? Okay, let's go through, <laughs> meal let's always, go through these like injuries. Could always, and stuff. always powered. Let's go through some more of these injuries. I kind of like this like right, injury we were talking story. Justin, 
We've been talking for um, 50 minutes. But okay, Justin body slammed me on Christmas and gave me a concussion or something. <gasps> I remember, it, like, I was like, <laughs> I got, I got That's smashed crazy. on the ground head first. And <laughs> my first reaction was, shit, what the light? <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> yeah, Chris got there was, like, a Christmas tree was on. <laughs> and I was like, you know when you have a concussion, like, lights hurt and stuff? Chris looked like Will <laughs> like, the, um, when they started killing the mind <laughs> player. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Like, like Will from Stranger Things, and they started like shut up. Like, the uh, yeah, what are they called? The tunnels. Hive mind? No, the tunnels and the whatever, hive mind. whatever. Like the demi dogs, like when they started ki- when they started burning like the vines. Yeah, at, like, the gate I was entrance. freaking out. Bro. Chris is like Will in the field. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> in the green room. That was a recent one. That yeah. didn't even hurt. Didn't even hurt. Like yeah. I didn't really fall. It was more of like. Also, a- while we were in Texas in a hotel room. We were making a TikTok that we never posted. But I almost, I thought I broke my ankle. Yeah. Mm. That was Nick so went, funny. We did like a minute music video thing in the hotel room and Nick jumped off the bed. No. Oh, you fell off. No. Right? It was, no, it wasn't oh, on yeah, video. We were filming it like was those, in the middle. No, we were filming like those minute music video things that we filmed on our thing. And Chris was like, okay, like start above me and like move the mm-hmm. camera and then step down off the bed and go beside no, me. No, because it wasn't on camera. No, it, it, yeah. Your portion think, was on I think dancing you were on, on the, the bed, bed and getting And off. then we shut the camera <laughs> off and you were getting down. 100, 100, 100% <laughs> recording. So no. I think, no, I think, yes. listen. No, I like, was recording Chris from like an upward angle and then I got the clip and I was, I was oh, like excited yeah, to show Chris. That's the same. When I got off the bed, this oh. bed was elevated. Like, it was <laughs> off the ground. <laughs> and I remember, like, I remember when I was, like, holding the camera down. I was, like, Because of the way I, I was holding like, the glass. Oh! Because <laughs> I was holding the camera down, I remember genuinely seeing, like, <laughs> like, I thought that I was way closer to yeah. Chris in the ground than I was because I was mm-hmm. holding the camera, like, lower. Oh, so when I got God. off the bed, I thought it was, like, a two-foot drop, but it was, like, four. And I landed <laughs> oh, on my Jesus. foot. Oh, Jesus. And uh, the back of my heel, heel, I the heard, of my heel stepped on the front of my toes. <laughs> oh. Like, it was, like, this with my foot. And it was, like, I heard a snap. I heard a snap. I heard a snap. Me and you heard it, because I... You, I heard a snap. I feel like a minor mm. bone had to break. Yeah, Something, or... Dude. Yeah, he may my have fractured. to this day. <laughs> 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 I could show you my toe. Like, I was looking at them yesterday, because I had my feet out. And... My feet are like this, and like this one on this side is like that a little bit. Like compared <laughs> to the others. Little hook. Yeah, and also my ankle. It's my ankle. <laughs> I know somebody with a hook. <laughs> a hook toe. Left foot yeah. has literally yeah. hurt since that day. You need to go to the doctor, dude. No, I do. Like I genuinely think I genuinely think there's like some internal bruising or something wrong that's like I need yeah. to go get taken. You gotta care get of. checked out. I dude. just wanna go to a chiropractor and have them just yank on it and like pop it off. Oh, like, yeah. That makes it worse. I bet that, that feels good. I, de- I definitely need to go get it looked at. Like I genuinely don't think I'll be able to like, walk on it in the future. Another fact. Guess how many children break their bone at some point? Not many. Childhood. Actually, not many. Like, none of us, of us three never kids. have. Fair. One out of how many kids? I'd say like mm. one out of like eight. Eighty. One 80. out of eighty. Yeah. How are you saying that? I said like one out of eight, but no. No, like, you're oh. wrong for sure. I don't think so. I think just because us three no, have it's it, way higher odds. I'm honestly eighty is like a low. Like I'm thinking like one out of one twenty. Okay, I think your perspective is really wrong because us three never have. Think of the amount of people that you know that have broken bones. I can name like twelve, children, and I know a lot children. of people. Keep in mind, children. Yeah, a dude, like one in one twenty. Nick, like you said, children are just, just always. Chris, what the hell's the answer? Shut okay, the fuck go ahead. Up. One in three healthy children break. Oh. Bones. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? I told you. I told you. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> had me questioning if I, I was... am shocked. <laughs> I'm not. One of three. That means you know one how many of clumsy three. kids are just doing stupid shit. A full bone yeah. break though is like wild. Like yeah. to snap a bone in your body in multiple pieces. Yeah. Well, like you have to think yeah. about it. It's like not not multiple. <sighs> well, like yet, yeah, I mean, double. It goes from at least one to two. <laughs> True. <laughs> but like, <laughs> ah! I think you have to think like. Uh, like I don't know. Yeah, there's not really much to think about that. That's just Let's insane. Let's go through the rest of our injuries so that we can wrap up this pod. Yes. Okay. I have a few experiences here that I've endured with wheels. I feel like I don't get along well with them. But when I was on, I was carrying a chair and I had heelys on. Oh. And I was sliding. I liked heelys. Through the street with heelys on, holding a chair like a full oh chair above my, my God, head. Oh my God! Why? And the heelys were knocking me back, and I didn't want to fall back because I was like, oh, I can't help myself if I go back. So then I put all my momentum forward and I still had wheels on my feet. So it's kind of oh, like, yeah, I can't really so find funny. your balance. 
So I slid, scraped my knee. And this is the... like, dude, this is like six months ago. And I still have like the full... Wait, this is six months ago. Oh, recent. Ago. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, Heelys were the shit. I never had them. I, I didn't have them for long, but... Why didn't you I don't, have them for I don't long? remember. I just don't remember having them for a long period oh, of time. Oh, oh, oh. But like, I think they were fire. I don't know what it is. Why like a scar. Bro, you threw, dude, the, I chair. threw the chair. Neighbors turning on like their lights. Dogs barking. Mm. So it was so funny. I remember. I remember like being so embarrassed. And then Matt was just laughing. Like, well, I, I asked if you were okay first. I helped you out, grabbed the chair, and then I started dying. <laughs> My favorite story of things on wheels is the wagon. Yeah, I have that one, which is. There was two wagons we stacked up on top of each other. Oh, my And I God. wanted to hit a dunk in our backyard because so we had a funny. basketball hoop. So I ran up as fast as I could, went to jump on the wagons, and obviously they were on wheels. I don't mm -hmm. know why we put the wheel side down. No, I don't think we did. Whatever. That was the it, thing. The, the, the wagon, yeah, the something. first one was balanced on the second, and that alone just swept yeah. it out. Yeah, and then it, okay. the wagon slid away, and I fell straight on my back, got the wind knocked out of me, and I came oh. like, in like, the action movies when they burst through like the glass wall. <laughs> <laughs> he was hitting like the ground. His arms were going yeah. back because like, his body stopped. Damn. So like, he hit and went. Yeah, it was really painful. <laughs> it was fucking hilarious. It's like, so I genuinely funny. Had, he just immediately got up and was like, air in his body. He just got up and like, <laughs> like, really like swimming. Yo, when you get the, the wind knocked out of you, bro. Yo, that's the worst feeling of it. You like trying to breathe, trying to breathe, and it takes like maybe a minute or two. Like, but you oh. see this one over here laughing. <laughs> it's funny because I can just picture it in my head because I've had it happen. I've had it like happen. six days, and I he love, finally got his. How funny you think that is? It, it was so no, funny when I found out you were okay. You exactly. Were like, you got up. You were. Like, <laughs> you're just gathering Once all your you're breath. okay, that's so when funny. it's like it's good to laugh and not okay. Work. And then um, and, then, and I'm just laughing because we were like outside having fun, and then that happened. You gasped, and then like you didn't say anything to me and Matt. You Nothing. just went inside. I just and ran started crying. <laughs> and like uh, your little body like scurried inside. Like, no. Uh, and then another time with wheels, I was on a scooter. Oh, oh boy. The, Always the, the worst. The handlebars didn't right. align like, with the wheel. I, you would have to hold the. <gasps> I have it. If, if, like, this is the wheel. No, you would have to hold the handlebars at, like, 75 degrees instead of, instead of like, 180 degrees. Okay. Be, like, oh, to the side. To go oh, straight. Yikes. straight. So, like, the wheel is, like, like when this, you hold the handlebars, the, the like handlebars naturally, like, a normal person on, like, a motorcycle or a scooter. The wheel was, mm -hmm. like, the wheel was already away. facing to the so right. So, you had to, like, line up the handlebars. Okay. I don't know why I was using a faulty scooter anyway. But I was trying to go from, like, a beach house to the beach. And I was mm -hmm. hauling ass on the scooter, and it gave out on me, and I fucking scraped my hand. No, I think you just forgot. And you... Bro, those are one of the worst. I don't know if you ever fell off on a scooter, like, I really bad. I definitely have. No, no, no. I'm not talking about the automatic one. I'm talking about an actual Razor scooter, and it, like, goes out on you. Um, I don't know about it going out on me, but I remember we had a scooter growing up. Dog but died. I did have a funny... I feel like I might have mentioned it before. Probably A long did. time I ago. I had a scooter accident when... I was with friends in Cali, but if you guys want that story time. Yes, you got pounds. Oh, uh, what? And I'll let you guys know in the comment section. No, 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 but I, I, had, I had a little story. Don't be like that. So on my block, that hill, mm -hmm. like before, like yes. you could either go this way or that way. Yeah, that hill. So I came down. I was coming to down the right, it. right? Yeah, and then you make the turn that to go That deep out. ass, steep hill you have? Well, that's not the steepest part. The other side is the steep. I know, I know what you're yes. talking about. Yes, but coming down at the split, at the yes, little fork, yes, yes. coming down on a scooter, right? I guess we were having bike races and stuff. But I didn't have a bike or something was going oh, on. Oh, Lord. Dog, I don't know what happened. All I remember, it, the motherfucker started shaking. That's the worst. And then, bow! I'm on the ground, son. Am I bleeding? I slid like 20 feet. That's a lot of feet. A lot of feet. That's why I'm like so light-skinned now. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Time, but I did fall off of it. I don't remember how it had to be pretty bad because I had to get carried by one of the older kids back to oh, my wow. house. Okay, because I was just like in shambles. In shambles, that may be, but I couldn't even tell you. Okay, so we both had scooter accidents, yeah. but yeah, play please. I got it. But you turned it too yeah, much. I don't know. It was just really okay. hard to use. The scooter was fucked up. And I slid on the concrete, ripped my sweatpants open, scraped my knee, scraped my leg, and then Ouch. hurt my thumb really bad. Oh. Yeah, that was that also was a really another funny great one. story. Nathan but... was there too. Mm -hmm. I remember he made fun of me a lot.
Shout out to Nathan. That was hilarious. And then Nick, one day we had a um a little hockey banquet, so we went to a hotel and they gave Nick a peppermint. No. No, it was like the hockey banquet was in a hotel and like the hotel lobby had one peppermint left. Mm. So I was gassed as fuck because I was the only one who had it. So I was like, mm-hmm. fuck everybody. I have the last peppermint. Mm-hmm. So I, I put it in my mouth as I was like also skipping out of the building because mm-hmm. I was like just a little excited child. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And when I like took my initial skip and landed, like the <laughs> mint just went straight. Oh, oh shit. I for like four minutes and then I threw up everywhere. Ooh. Yeah, I think you got the mint dislodged from your esophagus. Yeah, no one was giving me the Heimlich. Everyone just waited because no one knew how to no, do it. No, dad was gonna. Like, I remember no, he my was, dad like, was gonna, but he just genuinely, like, was, I think everyone was more afraid. Dad was so panicked. Yeah, I remember after I actually threw up and, like, I could breathe and I was fine, he did not, like, put me down onto the ground for, like, 40 minutes. No, like, he was dad, just holding dad, me oh, for like, an hour. Horrified. And I was crying because I thought that I was literally gonna die. Like, yeah. I like, could not breathe. I remember just being a bystander. Like, what the fuck? What if he yeah. dies right in front of me right now? Let me have some just other funny stories. I got pushed playing tag when I was younger and popped out my shoulder. Got to go to the nurse's office and get it reset. These kids are very um, ac- these men boys. There? Listen, are I, very we, accident prone. Listen, I was active, but we weren't getting into like injuries like that. Mm-mm. That's insane. And we were doing some, we were jumping fences too, like playing manhunt. And just think, but, this probably isn't even all of them. This is just a good majority. But... Yeah, or the most notable ones, right? Mm-hmm. Or the ones that they remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When he was bowling, and he had to get a splint because Matt. Oh like, my hit god! Him. Isn't it like the prime example of Matt's stupidity? <laughs> Shut up, Nick. Matt I was holding Nick a, a bowling ball, and I was getting ready to bowl it. But we were at, like this kid's birthday party at a bowling alley, and like not to bash on some random kid's birthday party. But there was no like organization of like, <laughs> like there was no or- there, there, there was no lanes, organization they were just like the kids oh, throw oh the ball like down. you four kids are playing on this lane like they rented three lanes but then invited like twenty people to the birthday party but mm. instead of like splitting us up into groups to bowl like one at a time like they were just, like, anybody like, free for all yeah. to throw bowling balls at the pins so, like oh, no sh- one took turns <gasps> so I went to bowl and then Matt basically also went to bowl and threw it somehow hit my hand mm. with the bowling ball ah. so my finger got crushed between the bowling ball I was holding and the bowling ball Matt threw it oh me. my god yeah. and then we have a classic um we were decorating like this thing this big ovular structure with ribbon and Nick passed the ribbon over like a, it was like a 40 foot toss and Nick, I think it was you, right? Yeah, I don't know. It was like a streamer or like a ribbon, and Nick threw it, and it hit my lip and cut my lip open. My lip, like, wouldn't stop bleeding. It was, like, dead center. I have a oh, scar there, shit. too. Like, if I mm. smile really wide, you'll see, like, the white line. I'm not doing it. It's awkward. No, I have the same scar. Yeah. Because I had he... a staph infection from oh, yeah, yeah. EpiPen. And then, um, let's end it off with a classic, my wrist. That's Dude. Good. Hold on. We're Matt and Chris were arguing, and I was recording them, and then... It was like Matt's turn to shoot the ball in basketball, and Chris mm-hmm. didn't want to give it to him. So Matt was like, give me the ball. And Chris was like, Chris hocked it out at like 100 we're, miles we're like per 10, hour. I think. And Matt, instead of like <laughs> wanting to catch the ball, he was like, Iron it. Man it. Like, stop it. <laughs> like, like 11. So when Matt like, went 11 to like stop the ball from hitting his body, the ball hit like his palm and <laughs> pushed his wrist full, back. No, my, it went like this, and my full hand went like that. Was, my- He's like, oh, my wrist. Oh, my wrist. That was so funny. My wrist. Like, like, deep, deep, but deep, anytime like an anybody mentioned like or hand or wrist pain to this just day, yell, my wrist. I still get made fun of for that. So. It was so funny. We were like eight. Well, yeah, that was some of our childhood stories and our funny injury moments. I, I, this was probably my favorite podcast. I know. I had a, a Let blast. us know if you want to hear more just like stories Let us know just that what we you have want us to talk about. less injury side because this is the more injury side of things, but I still enjoy we this episode. We're absolutely down to talk about anything here on the Cut the Camera podcast. Just let us know what you want us to talk about. We will see you guys when we see you guys. Have an absolute wonderful time. And as always, just be more careful, you know? Yes. Yeah, be more That's safe. Four, That's what's, the, what's the what's the Stay safe out here. Yeah. What's the word like or sentence of what our life is like off camera based off what we talked about today? I'll say chaotic. I'll throw a classic mm. chaotic out there. Mm. Scary. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say just, you know, life altering. Ca- <laughs> 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 I'd just say so. proceed with caution, you know? Okay. Yeah, yeah, watch your kids. Thank you, guys. I'm yeah. Chris. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Matt. Thank you for joining us today. I'm Nick, and thank you so much. We'll see you next week. Bye, campers. No, it's I was not. waiting for you to say it. I don't say bye. It's just only good, good morning. morning, campers. Okay. Okay. Thank you, guys. Bye. Love you all. That's insane, Matt. I know.
I think what you saying, how you miss me, yeah, you miss me, and all the things that we did. We said we're gonna drop off on the islands in Madrid. We had a lot of plans, but they all disappeared. Well, oh, but because yeah, it's okay, but it's, it's okay, because okay, I'm moving different. different. Don't be saying nothing when I'm saying without the bitches. Oh, for my brothers. Yeah. You were waiting so. for that. Of course I was, but not here. Um. All right, guys. Solid. It was reaction. solid video. Yeah. Oh yeah. Lots to talk about. That was a lot to talk about. Mm-hmm. But hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you want more Cut the Camera podcast, just let us know by hitting that subscribe button and like button as well. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Guys.